The picture that you see over here, um, that is uh, hemoglobin. That's uh, the pigment, the red pigment in our, in our red blood cells, which, which carries oxygen. And it is a protein. And uh, I'm talking now, I'm, this uh, slide is going to be about protein conformation. It's an important word for you to know, conformation. And conformation is nothing more than the three-dimensional structure of a protein. So it's the 3D structure, the three-dimensional structure. If you say, if you want to say, okay, what's the three-dimensional structure of a protein? And you can also say, what's the protein's conformation? Uh, why did they use a separate term for this? Why did they actually invent conformation? I don't know. It's, it sounds cool. And scientists like to invent names. Uh, so that's the three-dimensional shape of a protein. Yes. And you can see over here. In hemoglobin, that essentially it's not a flat molecule, but there are these spirals. These are known as the alpha helices. Yeah, and there's, uh, yeah, it's not a flat thing, but actually a, a, a yeah, a three-dimensional structure. Um, yeah, and it's made of polypeptides. And uh, the question is now, how many polypeptides, how many amino acid chains can you see over here? And there are four of them. And yeah, this one, the blue one over here, is is one amino acid chain. The red one over here, this blue one over here, and this one, red one over here. So there are uh, four amino acids chains, and these chains uh, work together to form a functional hemoglobin protein. And uh, the shape of the the shape of the protein of the hemoglobin uh, and other proteins is of course determined uh, by the amino acids which are present, because the amino acids uh, they basically uh, make uh, these spirals. And you might now wonder, where are the amino acids right now? I mean, I don't see them. I just see these spirals over here. Well, the reason is because this is a simplified representation. Um, but if you really wonder where these amino acids are, I'm just going to draw them over here, okay? That's an amino acid linked to the next one, linked to the next one, linked to the next one, okay? So here are the amino acids, and they're kind of spiraling, okay? Yeah, over here, here, yeah? And uh, there are also some uh, regions where they don't spiral. For example, over here, yeah? here at the, at the top, there is no, no, it goes back all the way behind here. Okay, uh, so basically uh, that is a, yeah, a simplified representation um, of a, um, a protein so that you see much better uh, the three-dimensional structure. And uh, so-called intramolecular bonds, for example, hydrogen bonds stabilize the conformation. So basically, uh, let's have a look at uh, the, 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 this one down here, okay? If I actually draw it like this, uh, again, there are hydrogen bonds, uh, dotted lines between the amino acids forming. Okay, these are hydrogen bonds, which kind of, and they kind of keep the spiral, the so known as the alpha, this is known as an alpha helix. And they keep the spiral in place. And uh, maybe there are also um, other intramolecular hydrogen bonds uh, forming, I don't know, maybe from here to over here, I don't know, yeah? Or from over here to over here, of course, yeah? Uh, and so on. So there are many, many bonds all over the place. Um, there are many bonds um, all over the place, which uh, make sure that the structure is stable. And of course, there also have to be bonds holding the four polypeptide chains together. Okay. So that is uh, basically uh, some uh, yeah the overview. And I just would like to talk now about the different uh, protein structures. And uh, this is so known as uh, something known as the primary structure. Structure. And the primary structure um, is uh, are the amino acids, the type and sequence, type plus sequence of the amino acids which are present. So in the primary structure, I'm not really worried um, about this uh, whether there are any spirals, alpha helices in there or not. I'm not worried about that. I'm just concerned um, about the the which amino acids are present uh, in what sequence. The type and sequence of AA, AA stands for amino acids. The secondary structure, the secondary structure, and there are now two possibilities. The secondary structure, you even have the alpha helix. You already, you already met this guy over here, okay? And there's a second possibility, um, it's also known as the beta sheet. And the beta sheet uh, is not, uh, the, I don't think that we have one here, but essentially the beta sheets are represented as arrows. Okay, so these are basically spirals. And beta sheets, they draw them um, always uh, like arrows. They're pointing into one direction and then pointing back. Yeah, 
Um, there is a different there is a different picture in a different uh, video uh, where you uh, we actually have beta sheets and sometimes uh, it's not spiraling but sometimes it goes zigzag yeah and then it goes down and zigzag and because uh, it's also too difficult to draw that's why they they're using uh, they using arrows and the amino acids can be found in here okay so they're going also zigzag and then the tertiary structure The tertiary structure is basically when you have uh, um, a, a secondary structure like an alpha helix and then basically it kind of turns around and it continues over here and uh, then you have, let's say, uh, a beta sheet. So these are the folds um, and turns in the secondary structure yeah, and turns and this makes the tertiary structure of a, a polypeptide and the quaternary Structure is basically when you have several polypeptides together. So, and if you want to, if you look at this one over here, is in which structure is this? Well, the primary structure we can't see. We see the secondary structure over here, uh, um, the, the alpha helix. We see that there are turns and folds in the secondary structure. So uh, basically we have, uh, it's in a tertiary structure and because there's several polypeptides working together, this hemoglobin molecule over here is in the quaternary structure, okay? And that was already it, okay? So um, what is the point here? The point is, is that uh, you have to understand that uh, we, so far we always talked about amino chains of amino acids, but we do not have strings or chains of amino acids floating around in our cells. What we have is we have three-dimensional molecules which actually do something, which actually look, uh, yeah, which have a certain shape and, and a certain form. And uh, for them to actually do their work that they have to do, they have to be folded into a certain a protein conformation, a certain shape, uh, which is actually also useful. Simply having a few strings of uh, amino acids floating around in our, our cells is not really useful. Um, they have to actually do something. And uh, just as a side information, the hemoglobin, uh, the molecule that you see over here, is responsible for carrying oxygen. And you see that there are these additional groups over here. There's iron in here, for example. And this is basically also the place where the oxygen binds to. Okay. So these green parts over here are not amino acids, but these are additional, um, additional groups, uh, including iron and so on here, uh, which uh, basically are added uh, to uh, the quaternary structure, um, yeah, in this case, uh, to, carry, uh, to carry oxygen in, in, the, in the blood. Okay? So that is uh, essentially um, all I wanted to say for right now.